Hello folks! In this video we are going to talk about a new constraint layout. Uh, basically this layout is uh, introduced as default layout for uh, un the recent Android Studio. So constraint layout is a default uh, layout for component 3 of your XML. So if you switch to the XML view you will see a um, uh, definition of uh, Android support constraint layout in your uh, layout tree model. And basically we have a text view, the single text view that located in the middle of the screen. So we will play a little bit with, with this simple uh, hello world text view. I would like to pay attention that this text view has uh, some properties that uh, can help you to regulate uh, the vertical bias of the t of the text view you can move up and down, and you can regulate uh, horizontal bias of the text view. So, for example, this number will tell you uh, how far you are from the middle. Uh, in this case, so it's quite convenient right now to do it. Um, so, what's happen if you delete constraints? Let's say uh, press on the constraints and delete this one. So by default uh, we are uh, losing this connection to the um, upper corner and your text right now on the bottom area. So to uh, establish new constraints drag and drop this arrow and establish this constraint again. Uh, basically we have a button here uh, clear all constraints. So if you clear all constraints uh, we don't have anything right now. So if you uh, understand this, uh, this element doesn't have anything that can keep uh, your elements according to uh, left, right or upper corner. If you run the project right now, uh, hello world will be on the, in the position 0, 0. And I would like to show you right now. Despite the fact that we're moving elements back and forth, uh, elements will be still in the position 0, 0. So we have to establish at least uh, two constraints for this element. And in this case, uh, we uh, will guarantee that constraint on the left will be 2001, and constraint to the right will be 152. So if you run again, restart application. You see right now that uh, the elements is uh, behave according to the uh, constraints that we have right now. So let's uh, bring some more elements to the layout. Let's say uh, find widgets in the palette uh, left area, one button. And let's find the uh, checkbox on the right side. Okay, so this will be uh, the things we would like to relate to each other right now. And uh, let's say text will be uh, somewhere in the middle. Something like this. So how to establish constraint in this case? So let's delete all constraints right now. Clear all constraints. And we can try to uh, do constraints by ourselves. So constraints for the button. In this case you can keep button in the middle. Constraint for the checkbox. And constraints uh, between button and text view and between checkbox and text view. So basically this is how to establish uh, constraints between three elements. So let's run this project right now. And you see we have a problem with the text with the hello world on the top. So in this case, uh, why? Because we need to create a constraints uh, hello world with the top area. So I'm going back and establish these constraints 
for the text view. Restart again. So it's approximately right now the reaction that we want. It could be quite uh, hard to find all constraints, so the all buttons. So let's uh, delete all constraints right now, and let's make a position that's a little bit unusual for the program. It will bring more elements here and there. I'll bring another checkbox here. Um, what else? Let's do the progress bar here. Yeah, maybe a toggle button between. And hello world will you make uh, display one a little bit. So it will be a lot of work to establish constraints by ourselves. We can use one uh, nice button. So let's clear all constraints first and let's press the button infer constraints. Infer constraints will scan all layout and define the best constraints available for the current uh, configuration. So it looks like not that bad, eh? Let's restart again. It looks not bad at this, at this, at, in this case, but we just need to know that we can always change position of the elements according to our needs and uh, that constraints will be also satisfied. So that's absolutely okay to, um, to, to a little bit to play with this if, if, if necessary. So that position, for example, between um, um, off and text view, we can play with this if you need. Yeah, it's, it's, it's all possible to uh, readjust elements. I would like to have your attention on the uh, on the right upper corner. We have a uh, number five in the red square. So when you press this, you will get uh, lint warnings in layout. So basically, this is a warning for the current layout we have. And they say we are using a hard coded strings button, button, checkbox, toggle button. Yeah, in the real program, we would change probably these names uh, to the values from the string resource. So you know, like strings resources here, and create all these values in this uh, in this file. But uh, right now, for simplicity, we will ignore this. And finally, let's uh, talk about how to add uh, image view and some some text to the image. So I will delete right now all elements. So what I will do right now, I'll delete all constraints. I delete all elements because I don't need them. It was just a demo. And find the images image view somewhere in the top area. So I don't have any images at this moment. I will use this image. And I'd like to pay attention that uh, image view has the same uh, properties area as uh, previously discussed elements. So the property of this image uh, can be adjusted by layout, width and height as we did previously. So if you go to this match parent, the image will take layout widths and the same we do, can do with height. And the image will probably uh, take in the whole space, right? So the, we don't need really this. We can adjust layout width and height in 10 TT pixels. So we can play with that as well. For example, 150 to 150. You can move the image, for example, on the top. So again, uh, like all this uh, adjustment will be possible to do using uh, these rules. Also, we have to talk about these numbers on the uh, top, uh, bottom, left and right. This number means uh, the margin for the element. So let's say we have a margin 8 uh, or 24 or 32. This is actually the margin that uh, will be shown by this uh, squiggly 
uh, gray line with extension to the left and saying 32. So make sure that you need margin, you can play with this uh, in all directions. So for our case, uh, we will go back to zero. And let's bring some image view button here as well. Uh, let's one button is minus. Another button will be plus. Uh, this button is not right now uh, related to any of those views and uh, do not have any constraints. So let's create automatic constraint for those buttons by pressing plus infer constraints. So once you press it, you will get uh, some information about constraints. Uh, you will see this information in this uh, in this picture. The number 56, 64, and 126 from the bottom. So what kind of constraints we have? We have one constraint on the left, one constraints with uh, with another image. Uh, the same is uh, for this button and constraints uh, between buttons as well. Uh, finally, I want to bring uh, multi-line text widgets to this application. Uh, so I will probably uh, bring it on the top area since I don't have so much space on the bottom side. So let's uh, let's make it quite big as much as we can. So probably we will do some uh, uh, margins because it's really hard to to think it will be enough for us. So we will have one constraints on the left side. Um, it's kind of like hard for me right now <laughs> to make it. Yeah, I will probably go back a little bit and uh, make margin here. And uh, yeah, so looks like I have a margin here and uh, margin here and I have a margin on the top. So finally you have uh, let's make 16 on the top it make 16 and on the right it make 16. So you will probably visible margin right and one more thing we have to do uh, uh, on the bottom side to to the image and um, not really sure we have uh, Let's make maybe margin from, from the image view. That will be just better than to do the margin for the text view. So I'll click on the image and make a margin here for the 8 for the image. I guess it will be better right now. Okay, and then I need some, some dummy text here. I'm sorry that I'm not really very creative in terms of text, so I will double click on the... Uh, on the text view. So when I double click on text view, I will insert some text from the buffer. So this is completely random text that I just uh, generated. Uh, Alright, so probably we have to run it and check how it is. Uh, so not very good. I, was, I guess we will lo be losing here and there. So the text is a scrollable. So finally, I just adjust a little bit the uh, width and height for this uh, for this multi-line text widgets. And uh, after this, I will press in for constraints. So it's a little bit headache with adjusting, but. Okay, so far this is what we have right now. So again, uh, feel free to change uh, this code as you want. It looks like my image became really small with number. I lost my height.
Okay, so it was a video how to uh, use constraints layout for Android Studio. So if you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks a lot.